frighten her. Spring is a state of mind, not a season. Blossom time is a thing you feel whenever it is, regardless what the calendar has to say. And here, at Kew Gardens, blossoms from trees transplanted across the world spell out the word beauty in every tongue the Tower of Babel ever recognized. Hold your breath and get back that spring feeling. Recapture the rhythm that blossoms put into your heart. Beautiful. Beautiful, but let's be frank about it. Blossoms mean brass, not beauty, to many people who provide the springtime spectacle of orchards in full bloom. There's big money involved in the fruit crop that follows blossom time. Here, all the springtime beauty is a mere prelude to harvest, when these flowers have become a fruit crop farmed with care. In Kent, the Garden of England, it's finance and fairyland combined, and you don't know which way to turn. Picking your roots an absolute toss-up. But one thing's certain, a sudden frost would not only wipe out beauty, it would cost a fortune. But surely a frost can't happen at this time of year. A frost can't happen? A blossom-wilting, fruit-killing frost in May happens more often than most people realize, and fruit farmers have been studying ways to combat this scourge, which so easily can wipe out the produce and the profits of a whole year's work. Here, in East Anglia, they're working out ways of fighting the frost in May, here and now. If only they can keep the blooms never more than three degrees below freezing point, they're safe. The fight against frost is won if you can keep your flowers just at the temperature of nearly melting ice. So you need a reservoir, pumps and sprays to provide a protective covering of ice. It can cost you 150 pounds an acre to spray an orchard when frost threatens, but it's worth it if the operation saves a crop that's a goner otherwise. Here, they're just testing the equipment because your May frosts only strike at night. In some parts of an orchard, oil heaters head off the loss that a nip in the air could bring. Watch the temperature, that's vital. But find the means of making sure that when it drops to freezing point, some electric coupling with your battery of thermometers will transmit a danger warning to the farmhouse. This is a farm near Chelmsford, where they use oil burners among the pear trees, side by side with tests on the new spraying. Your farmer can be in bed or reading a book when suddenly... No thought of beauty now. A big investment is at stake. It's the same situation you get when a call goes out to a lifeboat crew. They're fighting for survival. A year's output is involved. And in its way, this quick battle is as beautiful as the short-lived blossoms are themselves. All while the rest of the world dreams and sleeps.